All right, today we're going to do transparent and opaque paint. So with transparent paint, when you, you know, put your, like a wash in, see it's transparent. You can see light can bounce through the paint and then back out. It has this nice um, uh, quality. And basically you can't add, uh, if you want your shadows to really recede, um, you know, the old masters learned that you gotta, you gotta keep the, the paint really thin in that transparent layer. Now, uh, the real challenge when you're painting, like if you're painting wet and wet, so if I put some opaque paint on here, okay, and say I want to turn the edge here, and I'll just do it with my finger, where you get a nice edge from light going into shadow there. Um, if I say I got the drawing wrong, and then I need to you know, maybe try and go fix it, and then maybe I mix it with some of the transparent paint. And before I know it, I've contaminated my wash here. And you can't uh, go back at that point and um, go back to trans transparent once you've added the white into it. So white gets contaminated in these areas, and you try and, and go back into, um, you know, transparent. I'll, I'll show you. Basically, it goes more opaque now. We used to be able to see through into th th through to see the the background there. Now there's more uh, paint buildup on it uh, at that point. And you know when you start put this on here, it it reacts differently than it did uh, the first time I put it on. So. Uh, that's kind of what can destroy some of these really nice shadows and part of mastery or learning your craft is you have to figure out um, or the right wash at the beginning so that when you put the opaque over it you're not constantly correcting and correcting and correcting and messing up those uh, initial layers uh, and so that's where the mastery comes uh, in is is knowing right at the beginning that first wash that you put in to put it correctly and then leave it alone and not let your opaque paint get into your transparent layer. And that's uh, something that you know takes years of practice but it's definitely a worthy goal to strive for. Okay so in this painting um, I'm showing the principle of the transparent layers and the opaque. So you know all these whites and the lights here of the uh, hollyhocks on here is opaque paint and then down here the transparent layers and this 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 transparent paint you know I don't want to go back in and and touch it again for that reason that I'll lose those nice nice rich darks there um, they wouldn't be that dark and transparent if I went back into it same thing with the water the water works because it's uh, very transparent and then I put just a little bit for the reflections just a tiny bit of semi-transparent uh, paint. And then you can see the opaque paint is what really pops out. And so it's playing the transparent against the opaque, which creates um, also this larger uh, value range than if everything was opaque. Mm -hmm.